See you later, Miss Mori. So is it a bug or intentional that the corruption seems to just spawn right in the middle of the jungle at the moment? Because it kind of bums me out that if you like, um... It's like corruption is a small chunk of jungle and then more corruption. <laughs> How far are we in? Um... What were we doing? We just got... The Zealous Valor. Oh, we were clearing the dungeon, right? Oh, no, no, no. We, we, we cleared the dungeon, but then... And then I got... Like, I, my attention span kind of suffered. And I decided I wanted to look for uh, floating islands. But I don't actually have a way to look for floating islands that doesn't involve, like, using absurd amount of materials. I mean, I could still do it, I suppose. What if I just made like a huge sky bridge out of wood platforms? Is that viable? See you later, Riven Hikari. Have a wonderful day at work. I don't have any grab potions, unfortunately. Grapefruit. What? Hmm. Can I blame that on the lack of luck? Blocks pulling stars? I feel like those drop so fast anyway. All floating islands at roughly the same height. They very boo. So that means I could quite easily miss a bunch. I forget, does this game punish you for killing too many tr uh, plants? Thank you for the 61 months. Holy heck, Aru, and welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Oh. Yeah, I'm a Wartongosaurus. It sucks. I think grav potions take quite a bit to craft, right? Sold of. Okay, so it's a bit higher. My favorite NPC? I really don't have one. They're all just kind of just there. <laughs> what do you think's a good height for floating islands? Should I go up a little bit more? See you later, Luigi! Have a good one. Up more? Okay. Maybe when the harpies start attacking me again? Those jerks. Hi. Here? This is where I am right now.
Yeah, the mechanic kind of... I found a Sky Island, and she just immediately claimed the house for her own. <laughs> it's cool, I've got it, Tunkasaurus. I know how Audible works. Oh, hello. Go away, demon eye. Any builder potions? Baby back home. Uh, Sky Island time. Oh, go have a look, because it's really tedious. What we got, what we got. No drugs in there. Ooh, featherfall might be helpful. Man, I really don't have a lot, do I? We got water walking. Yay. Uh archery. Got a whoopee cushion. What game is this? This is Terraria. No, there's there's some degree of like organization to it. I get danger sense. But then occasionally I do get bored and just throw them into any chest that I can. <laughs> it takes so long to organize all my stuff. It's honestly the worst part of the game, which is why it blows my mind that they want to make us do it more with the torches. Nope, no building potions. I've really not been very lucky on potions. Like, usually when I go through, I end up with like a million potions, even though I didn't want them. I got mining potion and iron skin. I mean, it is mostly organized on. What's the magic storage mod? I'm assuming it's a mod for storage. Thanks, Dawn. Yeah, it is, it is, like, all of my furniture is in the same place. Ah! Oh, hello. And at one point all my equipment was in the same place. It's mostly just things like consumables, where you just get tons of them every round and I end up with too many. Oops. Yeah, it's usually I run out of storage space. Nope. And then that's when I get lazy. <laughs> I don't have to do it anymore. Oh my god, go away, Harpy. Thank you! What's this torch problem? So people have found out about a mechanic in the game called Luck that is not particularly documented in any of the games, uh... Like, the game doesn't tell you about it. And the torch thing is annoying people because... Placing the inappro an inappropriate torch for the biome that you are in will cause you to get negative luck, which... I'm not sure on the exact figures. Some people have said like 15% uh, luck nerf, which affects your drops and your damage. And some people are saying 40, which seems excessive. Yeah, essentially the dev said that he got so annoyed with people placing the wrong torches in the wrong biomes. It's confirmed. It's on the wiki. Yeah, he said that he got so annoyed with people placing the wrong torches in the wrong biomes that he basically penalized it. <laughs>
I mean, my main problem with this game is organizing your storage. So having to, like, organize that even more and make sure I have the right torches with me and place the right torches in the right locations is very tedious. Ooh! A thing! Yeah, I would be totally fine if to incentivize using the right one, you got, like, a bonus for using it. Penalizing you for using the wrong one is silly. Negates full damage. Hells yeah! Sky mill. Hmm. The bonus is increased luck. The penalty is reduced luck. So if you place a standard torch in the snow area, it reduces your luck. No, 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 there is a bonus. What people are saying is there should be a bonus, but not a penalty. Yeah, I mean, I get frame lag, which is interesting. Oddly enough, I'm capped at 60 right now. I'm usually capped at 144, so I'm not sure why it's doing that. Am I a bug man? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Fixed it. <laughs> Why would you craft any other torch? Well, now there is an incentive because it doesn't nerf your luck. So there you go. make sky stuff now. Thanks, turrets. <laughs> Deez a day, thank you very much for the 300 bits. Lime's bug would be interesting. see what you hold on i think there is if i oh i think the guide is for this as well let's see hello mr guide if i show you my white paper airplane no if i show you my intrepid lucky horseshoe i can do a pink horseshoe balloon <gasps> allows the holder to double jump increases jump height and negates full damage i need a shark tr a shark ron balloon where do I get a shark run balloon from? Ooh, and then you can get a honey balloon, or a fart in a balloon, or a sandstorm in a balloon, or a blizzard in a balloon. I'm guessing these are all the different, like, jumping items that you can get. Where do, where do I get the cloud in a balloon? I assume island. Blizzard would be the ice biome. And this would be the desert biome. And this would be god knows where. I am incredibly tempted to just hit the, uh, the auto sort button. Would you guys be disappointed in me? <laughs> no, I, I mean, I mean, quick stack. 
Bye! Hey look, all my potions are in here. Also these flaming arrows for some reason, but that's fine. Hey look, I'm putting my furniture in the furniture thing! Wait, that's a wall. I shall put my food in here. shall put... Wait, that's another furniture thing. So what's the other one? Ah! <laughs> Never mind, it's fine. Oh, there it is. Building blocks. Building blocks. Ooh, a chicken nugget. Put that in the food. Materials for crafting. Look, I am dedicatedly organizing my stuff. Yeah, they, they put in a luck boost too. So, how... Where do these things drop? Like, the balloons? Is it just from random enemies or is it from chests? We had a med check? No, no. Med check, everyone. Make sure you take your meds. Yeah, the red one's from Sky Chests. What about, um... The other balloons, like the Desert Balloon and the Blizzard Balloon. They're obviously from the desert and the ice biomes, but how do I find them there? X in a bottle is double jump? Hold up. Let me double check. And Paul, thank you for the resub! Thank you for the six months of support and welcome back! Thank you, thank you! Oh, I see. Hold on. So... Right. So maybe the hunt... Like, the balloon items that I'm seeing here, what these are... Is... A balloon combined with a bottle? X in a bottle. I remember that because I got it last time when I wasn't cursed. That's just from random chests, right? Oh, goody. Oh, oh, oh. One second. Hey, stop that. My brother keeps asking me for, like, skincare as assistance. And I keep having to, like, prevent him from, from stumbling horribly. <laughs> like, he just messaged me and was like, Is this a good routine? And it's like, please don't use a charcoal mask every day. Your skin will die. Of course, turtles. I'm really glad he's trying, which is why I'm trying so hard to make sure that he, you know, doesn't screw up his skin and get put off forever.
okay, we're gonna find all the things and we're gonna live happily ever after. Please. Harpy? Harpy, no. I mean, what I guess I'll do is... Oh, hey, chicken nugget. <laughs> what I guess I'll do is I will search for the underground horse... Uh, horses? <coughs> the underground houses! In, uh... In the normal biome, because I know I won't get punished there for using torches and being a lazy jerk. And then we'll search the other ones after that. No, dude. You know for a fact, a hundred percent, if I don't make sure that, that this this pathway is completely level, someone is going to get very upset at me. Limes, your pathway is wonky. Why does it go way up and down, Limes? Why don't you care about your stuff, Limes? Don't even pretend otherwise. Oh, I lost all my acorns. <laughs> oh wait, no, they're there. Beep, 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 beep. Oh. Play optimally, Strummer? Okay. On another note. I think it's mostly for people who are like... Oh, <gasps> shiny red balloon! <laughs> Oh, people aren't complaining that it... Well, people are annoyed that it exists and for the reasoning behind it existing, Don. I think I think it's perfectly valid to enjoy the game and also complain about mechanics and systems that just seem, like, entirely unnecessary like that. <gasps> You're gonna go fight the world? Good luck! I'm gonna make another hole here. Yeah, I think people are also very annoyed because it wasn't a mechanic that was- Wait, it's a desert here? Oh, there's like the world's tiniest desert right here. Huh. Interesting. I guess we'll just go down over here. Yeah, it's a, it's a combination of factors. A big one being the fact that it wasn't openly talked about. Or sorry, openly mentioned. Like it wasn't on the change logs or anything like that, so people got a bit upset. <laughs> if your snow place has corruption in it, you could just use one of the ones that don't have any penalties, like the bone. Or corruption, I guess. Hi, Ursa. Am I digging like that? If you hit control, it, it puts on like a smart thing. Makes it nice and easy to just like kind of mentally go AFK when you're digging. <laughs> What about boss drops? They are affected by... The luck, yes. Oh, dude, I forgot spiders existed! Which biome were they in again? Oh, no. Spider nest? Can that be anywhere? Phoenix Frost, thank you for the resub! Thank you for the two months of support and welcome back! Thank you, thank you! Hi, Akaru! I know this particular <laughs> tunnel is going to upset someone, but I'm just trying to see if I can, like, find any kind of cavern. Yeah. 
you like spiders? I mean, we all make mistakes. Oh, I don't have my floaty on. I was like, wait, what am I thinking? There's one over there on the right. I'm just gonna check down here too. Oh, there's also over here. Proximity based? Or would I have to go in and like fix all of my misplaced torches even if I'm not there? Oh, I'm going into the sand. Back here then. Forty two tiles? Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much for continuing your sub. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I hear a not friend. Oh no, I flooded my tunnel. I swear to goodness, inevitably, I always flood my tunnel. I guess it doesn't matter because eventually I just dig down into a... Uh, into hell, so it doesn't really matter. Because if you if it was like multiple torches affected the score, then you could end up in, a, in an area where you had like incredibly negative luck, which would be really unfair. So I think it's probably just like if there is a torch placed in the wrong biome within X amount of tiles from you, you will receive a penalty. I think is how it works. about being a furt? Yeah. For sure. I'm just gonna dig up all of this, see if I can find something. Can there be quite, uh, shallow surface houses? I don't remember. gone to heck yet? No. I'm trying to find double jump items so I have more mobility. friend. Could you not? Wait. What? 
There's sand here. Which biome am I in? <laughs> There's sand directly underneath where I where I spawned. How can I be in the underground desert? That's not a desert. This is normal. The 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 desert is here for some reason. Like the, the, just a really small desert. It's just random sand. No, I hate it. Explain. Explain. Thank you for the resub! Thank you for the 26 months of support and welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Furniture placement ruins it. You should be fine, dude. <laughs> Your ship hosting? Yeah, but at this point in time when everyone has like no idea, they've just heard all these horrible things, people are gonna assume you're serious, and this is how terrible rumors spread. Nobody likes those. How long to get useful tools? Depends on what you're doing. If you just tunneled like down, 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 you'll eventually find better ores and that could be quite quick. Like it, it really depends on how efficient you're being with what you're uh, doing. Because like, I think I got this tool within like the first stream or so. Maybe the second stream. Oh God, I'm gonna drown. But if you decide to go exploring on the surface and take in your time, it might take you a while. I mean, as you can see, like, this is a keen nightmare pickaxe with 65% pickaxe power. It still takes a little bit. You can always get mining potions so you mine faster. Have I golfed yet? No, I, I really have no interest, but I will try it out at some point just to say that I did it. Is this level deep enough to get cool things from houses? Wait, why am I getting the, the surface night music? <laughs> I'm so confused! Oh, hey, welcome back, Chainsaw. Am I on the surface? Any mods? No, not at the moment. I mean, elevators are fun. I'm gonna be making mine eventually. Yeah, back to cavern music. Do that later. Where'd all my bombs go? 
If anyone says anything about my storage organization, then that's why I can't find the bombs. They're banned. <laughs> I had so many. Where did they go? Maybe I used them all. I'm gonna say that I used them all. Oh god, here they come. Hey! Rude. Th that guy just poured into the nurse's office and get absolutely heckin' dunked. That was great. Open doors right there was a mistake. choice what would it do mecha ferret or frankenstein ferret uh frankenstein being like an undead ferret made out of other ferret parts probably a mecha ferret because the concept of a franken ferret is kind of scary no i think this music played the last time we had a goblin invasion a couple holes in front of the doors is, is fairly viable. You don't seem to be able to get in, which is nice. But for a more permanent solution, I'd definitely look into something else. What difficulty is this? Just standard, because I've never finished the game before. you put lava in the holes, it's the only reasonable solution. the noise. I don't know if they change the speed. Maybe? Please leave. Like, I kind of tapped out somewhere around the, like, the last couple of bosses because... It was something to do with fishing. I don't remember what it was specifically. <laughs> Wait, did I put my piggy bank in the storage? Why did I do that? Oh god, now I have to go find it. Piggy bank, there it is. Uh... Okay. 
Oh, I accidentally stored all my healing potions again. That's cool. Oh, and now I have 53 bombs! Nice! I can use this for quick mining. Sweet! Now I gotta go find all my gel again. Where'd my gel go? Hey, you guys, if you see my gel, let me know. Oh, there's uh, difficulty exclusive items. Oh, yeah, I, I think I remember you don't you get like pets or something. That's kind of what's like tempting me to go through master mode when I play offline with friends. annoying me. I have She is McQueen just stuck in my head over and over and over again. over here. Or should I just keep going down? Uh, I'm gonna dig this bit now. Hmm. Or maybe... Would there still be houses at this depth? Oh, that's neat, Toaster. This random chunk of desert here is really annoying. All the way down and scattered around. Okay. Is this jungle or standard? This bit here. Looks like standard. I'm gonna go over there. Nice new place to hang out. Also... Okay, no, none of the other NPCs have decided to move into these. Does Corruption Friend do anything? He just, he just chill. He's company. Keeps me company. You have something important to tell me, Amon? What could it be? He's going to tell, he's going to tell, he's going to tell, he's going to tell. I'm pretty cool. <gasps> really? We killed the war? Wool? No. seems like a good spot. Actually, no, I can start here. Or unless this is something super cool. I don't think it is, though. No. Pylons? I think it's based on, like, how happy your villagers are. Okay, time for 53 bombs. Yeet. This 
point, I wonder actually if it's just Foster should do it normally, because these bombs don't really have a big radius. that you will eventually have a house with the right thing in it. Double jump. At least they get a beautiful picture. That's true. Very important. before you get to hard mode, though? Or am I misremembering? Leaky. You start off with a cap, and then eventually you get to... have more. There is a thing there. It's 400 then 500? Oh, okay. Cool. Yeet. 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 Oops, shit. Oh, that's unfortunate. Wait, what is it? Get out of here. Maybe I'll abandon this tunnel so that I can go somewhere that's not flooded. Oh. Abandonment limes gem. <laughs> you okay, turtles? about it anymore. We seem to have like decent ore and everything.
Oh, hello, sir. Oh! Okay, we're good. I don't think it has a release date yet, Turtles. It hasn't even been announced yet, Turtles. Oh, I did not expect this to be a full cavern. Nice. That's a lot of salt. Ow! Jerk. Oh, you won't play it on the PS4? Yeah, no, it's just not out on PC. 15 is. Maybe that's what you confused it with? They were pretty good with releasing 15. I'd say maybe like a year. Are there new traps? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, there is. Oh! Don't worry if I equip no full damage yet. I think we really will put it by heaven. Visibility. Oh boy. Oh god, what's this? Marble. Ooh. I like marble. sword. I have genuinely, I've never modded Terraria, no. I hear it's like, there's some good ones though. I don't tamper with the natural order of video games, except for all those times that I installed like a million mods on things like Dragon Age Inquisition, but we don't talk about that. And RimWorld. <laughs> What mods I put on DAI? Uh, mostly quality of life and visual ones. Oh my goodness, that was scary. Heck you guys. Can you get houses near heck? Make bull shut up? Hey, don't be mean to Iron Bull! Rude. You don't like his voice? How come?
Because of ME3. I liked him in ME3. What's this biome? Oh, ice? We're back in ice. Oh no, I've planted a cursed torch! Coruscant Books! Thank you for the resub! Thank you for the 32 months of support and welcome back. Thank you, thank you. For blessings. Okay. No full damage. That's nice. I'm gonna move away from here because I'm too close to the ice. But yeah, I liked uh, Vega right up until they had like, they were like, oh man. Uh, players are really disappointed they couldn't romance Vega. I know. Let's have a really awkward, like, kind of romance, but actually just super creepy, predatory nonsense in the Citadel DLC. And then I was like, whoa, I can never look at that character like that again. Never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry, Buster Monster. Ooh, house. Yeah, no, it is super freaked, and made Shepard out to be horrid. I really hate that little, uh, interaction. This is the worst thing. Ah, <sighs> still no fart in a bottle. Where did I get 44 more bombs from? Oops. No, I'm actually looking for like cloud in a bubble, not not fart. <laughs> Caden. Occasionally I'll do Thane in ME2. Haha, <laughs> do. But for the most part, like my original and true file is is uh Caden, loyal Caden. Cause I'm vanilla like that. He's nice to me and he can cook. I liked ME3, just not the ending. Or uh sword nonsense guy, whatever his name was. Accidentally roommates Caden, how'd that happen? See you later, Tetsu! Have a good one. What? There, stop that. Ooh, a tree. Pretty. That's what those acorns make? That's neat. Your being friendly came on to you? I mean, you could probably have said no at that point. Were you just like, well, I've gone this far. <laughs> I can respect it. So I didn't want to disappoint him, and I didn't know how to let him down gently. So anyway, we have our fifth an wedding anniversary. This week. <laughs> you turned him down? Oh no. Poor Caden. I see you there, Rock. Eh. Oh crap.
What does the why what does the the tree do for me? Or is it just pretty? Now I gotta fix the rail? I mean I don't gotta. Mm -hmm. There. I'm I'm married? No. No, I'm not married. I was doing a bit. <laughs> Caden, Garrus, and Jal. Nice. Garrus was my bestest buddy. I can't imagine banging him, but I will go and shoot people with him. I always felt like his mentor and, and good friend. And I really enjoyed that relationship. Friend zoned, yeah, essentially. Despite all his reach and flexibility, or what was it? He's reach? I forget which one's which. Oh, we're back in ice. Wait, how? Dude, these biomes are weird. I guess ice just continues on a little bit here. I'll go right. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's just a... Yeah. Femship did not get nearly enough options after a certain point. I feel like they kind of just forgot. <laughs> Cause you can get to a point in ME3 where you don't actually have uh, any male options as Femship. This, this, this is bait. I have trust issues, game. It's all your fault. Yeah, cause you can get to a point where, say you romanced Caden, and then sent him off to get obliterated in the first game. And then you romance, say, is it Jacob in the second game? That leaves you with nobody, because you have to romance Garrus in ME2. And they didn't bring anyone new in ME3. They just blue bowl you with Vega. Apparently it's super easy to accidentally romance someone in the first game, Shiva. Like if you talk at all to Ashley or Caden. I'm not saying I don't like uh, Vega, I'm saying you, you legit could not romance him. He was not an option, despite how much he flirted. And I'm one of the people that liked Vega. <sighs> Ashley, um, yeah, she was space racist. She was spacist. But if you took the time to kind of move past that, she had a little bit of depth. Because the first time I totally dismissed her because of some of the early stuff that she said. And then the second time I got to know her. But I still, you know, still sent her to her death. There's a thing over there. Metal Gear? I played Metal Gear uh, 1 
I've played part of two, I've played Rising, and I've played some of five. I mean, you can, like, uncover a little bit more of her personality before she dies. Igloo Pop, I've, I've, I've legit never, uh... Let her live. Oh no, Venomous Bean, I'm so sorry. But yeah, um... Actually, ME2 is really harsh on Female Shepherd generally. Like, I think the only, like, permanent romance that you can establish with a dude is Garrus. <laughs> if you go with Jacob, he just decides to go and get remarried and have a kid. Like, uh, afterward, like, when you're missing. If you go with, uh, Thane... Well, <laughs> rest in peace, Thane. Go away, keep it. Yeah, why did Jacob ditch you? Was it just that he didn't know if you were alive or did he th not think you were coming back? Thane is super cool. Have you guys ever romanced Thane and then done the Citadel DLC? It's awful. Yeah, no, it's it's not the flashbacks that he had. Well, it's 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 memories because they experience like memories in a certain way. Like I think they can basically experience them as present or something. I forget. But yeah, no, if you romance him and then like do the Citadel DLC, he, you get like a bunch of tapes after the fact that he made for you while he was living and sick on the Citadel. And it's basically like a big long goodbye from him. Just more than heckin' Jacob gives you! I played the Andromeda multiplayer, I don't think I played the others. Hi, Thunder! I'm very well, thank you. Life is okay. How you doing? I never went for Liara because I tend to steer away from, like... Well, actually, it depends on the game, but a lot of the time I tend to steer away from whichever partner the game has decided is your canon waifu. Like, or your canon... meant-to-be person. Like, in Tales of Symphonia, the game is always, like, Lloyd and Colette, Lloyd and Colette, and I'm no- I'm like, no, Lloyd and Zelos. Even though, in order to get Zelos as your bestest buddy, you need to basically spend the entire first half of the game making Colette and Genus hate you. <laughs> like, you have to be the most cool motherfucker in the world! Could I go with for Andromeda? Whoever the guy was that wanted to bore us. Was it Jal? I just- I, I didn't really like have a thing for any of them, so I ended up going for him. Dude, he literally one of his come on lines is like, I want to devour you. And it's like, uh Yeah, I think that's the same guy. Shiva? Super weird. What's that? Oh, it's it's dynamite. Boop. <laughs> I gotta fix the track. God damn it. Congratulations, Corkler. Oh. Ha, you missed. Okay, guess we gotta go back up and come back down. Oh, 
honestly, wasn't Mass Effect just absolutely full of strange pickup lines? Like, do you remember Jacob's seduction? Heavy risk, but the prize. And somehow Shepard doesn't just like lose her shit laughing, which makes it incredibly unrealistic. What game am I looking forward to streaming? I really want to do a uh, man eater to like as long as it's not weird. And I'd like to do Xenoblade Chronicles too. As in as well. Xenoblade Chronicles 1 as well. Not Xenoblade Chronicles 2. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a game about being a shark, and you basically just rampage like Jaws. When do I finish Xenoblade Chronicles 2? That's gonna be a never. Never ever. Thank you for the resub! Thank you for the 11 months of support and welcome back! Thank you, thank you! Who are you? I... I... I just didn't really know. I, two never really worked for me. Luna Latte! Thank you for the sub! Thank you for the support and welcome aboard! Thank you so much! Um, wait, if I have multiple piggy banks... Can I have just tons of storage? Does that work? No? Boo! Wait, if I have multiple piggy banks, can I put them in the places and they end up being like... a network of storage things that I can access anywhere? Yes, that's cool. Thank you, Lumi. Yeah, I, I, I have like... I have a thing for Bioware's games. Mostly they're older games, but... I really do like me some, let's see... Alistair? And Cullen? And... Solus is cool too. And Caden? He's cool too. Do I want to go out and scuba dive near some seals? I'd have to get over the whole can't have things touching my face thing if I wanted to do that. Maybe? Also, my intense fear of sharks. I'd have to get over that too. <laughs> I am so scared. I want, I want, um... The new Dragon Age to be good. But, I'm, I'm scared. I don't have faith, Arthur. What if I just sold everything? I'm gonna sort this out to you. Awaken Infinity! Thank you for the resub! Thank you for the nine months of support and welcome back! Thank you, thank you so much! Yeah. I hope so. 
Yeah, no, I, I like I like Bioware characters okay. Some of them haven't hit with me more recently. Like, I don't really remember anyone from Andromeda apart from, like, Jal. Oh, and there was, like, a female Turian, I think. She was okay, I think. But there are some really good ones. And things like the Citadel DLC, even though it was just, like, pure fan service. Betcha was good. I honestly haven't played Andromeda since it released, so I would need to go back and check. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I, I really, really, really like some of the older characters and stories. I like the Citadel DLC, yeah, where, where you had, like, this picture at the end with everybody. And it's like, ha ha ha, right before everyone's miserable because terrible things happen. Stole my bombs. Eh, we'll probably be fine. Wait. Oh no. Oh no. I think I might have accidentally sold my jet boots. Hey, dude. Fuck. <laughs> I accidentally stole my boots. They gone. They they straight up gone. How'd I do that? I forgot that this was a combo on my other one, and I traded it out. And then I think I sold the other one. <sighs> I gotta go get the goblin back. No! Uh... I would, well, how, no, what I'm saying is that there were two, and I liked the bonus on the other one more, so I was like, yeah, I'll just swap it over, forgetting that I had combined this, the, my original one. Wait, why isn't, why isn't the goblin moving into the Sky Palace? Welcome aboard! <laughs> Aw, Gridline! Thank you so much for gifting 30 subs to the community! Holy heckaroo! Enjoy your lives, everybody! Thank you so, so much, Gridline! Thank you, thank you, friend! That is very, very kind. Oh, you know what? There isn't a light. I remember, actually. Okay, I'll go do that in a second. Fine. Let's, uh, very slowly, and without the power of flight, make our way over here. Oh look, a fallen star collector! This is unfortunate. Haha! -ha. Oh wait, no! <laughs> I just tried to fly again! Alright, up we go. Let's put a torch in here. And a nice house is made. Nice. So hopefully he shows up. 
And then I guess we'll do the other one while we're here. Uh, I have a bunch of feathers in storage. Do I remember you can make like wings or something? I think you also need like Big Daddy, but he's not until hard mode. Thanks for watching. This is a long bridge. We just sit and wait until they spawn. Do I have to be a certain distance away or is it just a matter of time? Tium? Okay. I can't believe I did that. I'm so sad. <laughs> A falling star and put them in your pocket. Oh, we're done. Okay. Never let it fade away. Yeah, it's basically a, a like a pic picture by picture guide on how to join the Discord server. Coming in with the helpful assistance. Heck yeah. So, by lore, but like in terms of lore, is the guide actually evil? So, because if you throw him into the uh, into the lava, it spawns the wall of flesh. I, mean, I guess maybe he's just ticked at you, but. Oh, it just makes me evil? That's fair. <laughs> the arms dealer, but I don't want the arms dealer. I want the, 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 the tinkerer. Damn it, Timmy! Heckin' Timmy. Making a beautiful house. Wait, what? Is 
that's big enough for him. Should be right. I'm making him a hut temporarily because I really need my flying back. Where the door? Hi, Super. Did I find the Tinker Boy? Uh, no. Well, no, I did find him originally because that's where I got the boot, the uh, flying pack from. But he hasn't—he got killed in the raid and and hasn't respawned. Oh. There's the door. Door. Table. Chair. Oh, and I need walls too. Yeah, I like making them little uh, cozy apartment buildings in the complexes that I made. But that's not good enough for them anymore. Blee blee blee. So I'm a little bit salty about it. But you can just to kind of ignore their desires though, so torches? No, I'm pretty sure I just accidentally threw them away into a chest somewhere. Good. Boop. Boop. Wait, no, I must have torches. Oh, they're there. I mean, I like building houses for them, but I like building them all close by and something like really grand and nice. You can't do that anymore, so I'm gonna have to mix it up a little bit. Do I have the right torches? <laughs> Please. <laughs> mm. I lost my gel again. You know if the wool counts? It seems fine. That's annoying. I did have the tinkerer, right? The, the shoes, so I must had have had the tinker at some point in my in my uh, time playing. I just need to uh, get lucky. Oh, 
Oh man, these guys are so screwed when the goblin invasion comes. <laughs> Actually, that's true. How are you supposed to defend everybody if they all insist on being forever away? I guess it doesn't matter if none of them are near the main base. Yeah, I'm just gonna build all of these to get them in first. And then I'll worry about, like, actually making them nice accommodation. Yeah, I have a few sky houses. And by I have a few sky houses, I just put lights in the existing ones and they moved in. Do you think they cope okay with, like, the constant barrage of harpies just, like, shrieking down at them? Who do you think will move in there? Demolitionist. That's wrong, right? God damn it. Oh, I bet she's not a huge fan of the demolition demolitionist, actually. Nope, she doesn't seem to mind. <sighs> well, at least I can buy bombs now. So that's cool. Oops, my money. <laughs> I have a cape. I'm gonna go build another one over here so they're not too close. size this is medium and uh just standard because i've not finished the game before making super basic housing just to get all the npcs in eventually i'll make them something nice i just want my floaty boots back please Disturbing like a piggy bank? No, it's right there. Must build homes. We need wood.
Okay, and now we wait again. No! <laughs> my, my, my little heart just... Just like swelled with pride. My brother sent me a message that he was excited to start his new skincare regime, and I'm just sitting there like, skincare is fun! <laughs> hey, Bo, you are as well. Wait, no, who the heck is James? James, frick off! I didn't make that for you. You weren't even here before, what? Has the Tinker just decided he hates us? Is that what's going on? That was starting to bother me, sorry. Hi, James. Familiar wig. Familiar pants. Familiar shirt. Pink thread. Black thread. That's helpful, thanks, dude. I'm an expert now. I don't know what I was doing up here, but it's starting to bother me. I might just take it down. Oh, I think I was going to make more houses, and then they started whining, so I stopped. So for those who aren't aware, the reason why we are doing this is because I accidentally sold the boots with a uh, jetpack on them. Right after the Tinkerer got murdered by a goblin raid. So we're trying to get the Tinkerer to move back in, but every other villager in the game keeps taking his spot. Hey, Tuna, it's good to see you again. <laughs> I feel so useless without my my my, my swoosh. viable tactic. I could just always spawn like the eye. The problem is it would probably like take out the useful NPCs that are in my home base and replace them with crap NPCs. Although I could move everybody around I suppose. Yeah, I know I can make slopes. Thank you. Appreciate it though. Uh and this will happen because I got greedy and wanted even more mobility, so I went searching. I dug down too far and too deep. Where's my clay? Seriously, where the heck's my clay? Do I not have any clay? Oh god. I refuse to believe that I have no clay. That is impossible. Grr. Sealed in there forever. Goodbye. I can name chests. No, I refuse. You come make me do it.
All right, this one is gonna be the tinker. You guys ready? Here we go. Your calling style is probably. Maybe he's like rotated lost because he he had his time he, he had his chance and he had his time and he died and wasted it and now it's someone else's turn. Oops. <clears throat> Oh no. Oh no! It's out of control! <laughs> That's really awkward. There, perfect. Hey, his house is smaller. Maybe he won't notice. I'll just lower his rent a little bit and it'll be fine. Wait, who's that? Okay. Off we go! I am hungry. Is that my catchphrase? No. You like the house thing? Oh, thanks. Um, the stairs are kind of a mess. I need to fix them. You know what? I'll do that now. That's a cool little project we can do. Yeah, because the villagers don't seem to use them if they're not, like, fully actually stairs, which is annoying because I don't actually like the way the stairs look. Like, actually formed stairs. No. Oh, actually, the other way reason we were having trouble is because, like, if the platform is on the doors... You always do this. Yeah, that looks alright. Means that nobody can, like, visit people from other areas, but you know what? Whatever, nobody cares. Socializing is dumb. Still get it in and out, should be fine. Need more clay though. Has nobody moved in there yet? Hmm. Tinkerer, come back! Please. Uh, didn't someone with the same issue do something where, like, um, they, they use the web client? Does that work on mobile? Like, web, web client on mobile might work. I, I know the app doesn't work. Oh yeah, maybe it's because it's nighttime. It's dangerous to travel at night, after all. Mm -hmm. 
what boss is? Um, the slime, the the skelly bro outside the dungeon, um, the eye, and I think that's it. Oh no no no! And the the guy in the corruption, like the the worm. I just I just I just want my jet boots back, please. Thank you, headstone. <laughs> No, come on! <laughs> I just wanted the NPC. B? No. That's the one in the jungle, right? Because no, I haven't killed that one. Oh god, the, no the lack of ability is killing me! I think we're about to lose the clothing guy already. That's okay, maybe the tinkerer will spawn in his house. Did I just take 40 damage? No, I think I did 40 damage. mind the goblin event but after a little while, like two in two in a row today and then there was one yesterday as well it's a little bit tedious because it's how long it is how is mr clothing still alive Two pets when you defeat things. Monster? Oh, okay. Looks like my friends will be playing on Monster. Oh no, James is dead! What a shame. I guess we'll have to relet his house. new stuff that all the all the new tenant that all the red stuff is just oh god there's another one all the red stuff is just paint 
<laughs> Sounds like something a landlord would do. So, he moved straight back in, but the tinkerer hasn't moved in yet. Should I be concerned? Or not even the tinkerer, just anyone. <laughs> Hey, Tiller, how you doing? I have an empty house. Nobody's moved in yet. Hey, Lazy Doggo. It'll take some time, but but this guy just died and spawned again. Maybe the Tinker only lives underground? That would be interesting. He died during a goblin event, though, which would mean he was above ground at the time, right? This is just normal. No, no, the housing's suitable. You can live anywhere? Okay, cool. Yeah, I know who's living where. I know that the tinker is not here yet, which is really annoying. Hey, Tor. Wait, I already said hi to you, Tor. Hi again, Tor. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Sex Seal. Welcome, welcome. Is that a missing block? Hey. <laughs> fine, it's fine, whatever. I just want the tinker. Please. Let me double check that the housing is still suitable. I'm sorry for intruding on your private conversation with the chat. What's that? Oh, it's a butterfly. That's cute. <gasps> the fabled chosen day is here! Hey, buddy. Hey, what's Dawn up to? Have you talked to her by any chance? <gasps> he likes Dawn. Oh. Rocket boots. Yeah. Is that the guy that you gamble with for new uh, beneficial effects on your items? <laughs> da 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 Finally, there we go. Whee! Hmm. What's a lightning boot? I don't know what that is, so I probably don't have one. Oh, you combine it with the Spectre Boots?
you guys like my hat? You like my hat? Thank you! No? Oh... That's okay, I forgot to mention that not liking my hat is a bannable offense now, so... Sorry. <laughs> it's stylish? Thank you! Did I just hear something explode? Ah, you guys are all very kind. Thank you for the totally unprompted compliments on my hat. In five billion years, it'll be consumed by the sun. What, my hat? Man, why even spend money on hats if they're gonna get consumed by the sun in, in billions of years? What a waste. I can make. Is it the hell pickaxe? Basically invisible. Oh, it's a bet too. Go away, bet. But I don't want to go to hell. I want to find him a double jump. It's just around the corner. I bet you. Oh, it's very dark. Oh, it's okay. Go this way. Look at all my new dynamite that I spent like half my money we on. We hope you have a great time. <gasps> Sav, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome, everyone. We hope you have a great time. We're exploding stuff. Have a nice time with Seth. I hope you played all the video games and didn't even die once. Killed by goats? I mean, it happens to the best of us. Ice down there, do you guys think? Oh wait, no, this is are we a mushroom biome? Ice spice rooms. <gasps> Look! Spy the shrooms. House one, thank you for the resub! Thank you for the eight months of support and welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Time does fly, doesn't it? You had fun? I am very glad to hear it. 
I am also having fun now that I am not building houses hoping the tinkerer will show up and amend my horrible mistake. I accidentally sold the boots that fly and I had to sit there waiting for him to show up again. Am I making sure to put, put, uh, place the right torches? I'm sorry, I don't have mushroom torches. I don't think. <laughs> Otherwise, I've actually avoided going anywhere other than the standard biome so I won't have to. <laughs> this looks different from normal. You got it figured out, Awaken? Nice! Thank you, turtles. Aw, oh, base turtles. Being a cool dude. If it's just a bonus effect for being diligent, great. But punishing you sucks. How am I enjoying Terraria? I'm enjoying it very much. We're currently salting about the uh, the torch changes. But otherwise, we're, to we're having a great time. I'm looking for double jump because this is the first run I've ever done where the game hasn't given it to me. What changes? Okay, so it's part of the luck system where if you put the wrong torch in a biome, so like a normal torch in the snow biome, for example, you gain a negative modifier to your luck stat, which affects like drop rates and damage. Yeah, I'm looking for underground houses right now. Oh, hello, mushroom skeleton. There's a wiki article about it. Does the game tell you that? Nope! <laughs> luck, but I don't think he mentions the torches, does he? See you later, Miss Chief Mara. Have a good one. Can there be underground houses in the lava place? Oh, sorry, in hell? Because I know, I know there are, are, like, structures in hell, but they are they different from... The underground houses or is it like do i have a chance of finding jumpy jump there hmm this could be dangerous Yeah, I'd like cloud in a bottle, but the game won't give it to me. You have a third update? Yes! This guy made a nest today, but he didn't burrow in it because it was too warm, so he just lay above on the blankets, which was super cute, because you don't usually get to see him sleep because he likes to burrow. And Atreus has lost a hundred whole grams! And Nero is losing his tail fur, because sometimes in the, uh, in the summer, ferrets, like, will end up with, like, a gross, naked tail, because they're 
oily, gross boys. So Nira's doing that at the moment, which is fun. So oily. Eh. Oh shit. Run! Does hell have its own torch? Nero will always be the fluffiest because he has he is Angora, yes. He he is long long furred. No, Atreus used to be quite slim. Hello, fairy. How are you? You got something you want to show me over here? Just chilling out, I guess. Ow. But yeah, no, no. Trace was quite slim when he was when he was younger, and then he had his uh, castration, and then just kind of ballooned. <laughs> Getting close to heck, right? very dangerous right now. <gasps> A treasure chest! With dynamite all over it. <gasps> you are an evil fairy! Sent to lead me astray. above it. <laughs> Three! Four! What the fuck? <laughs> Fairy wants me dead. What if it's still not safe? I think it's good. I dive on the first one of these that I found. Which is why I was so suspicious. You guys think I should head back up to try and find more, uh, houses?
Deeper? Okay. Um, I didn't have any plans in mind. Oh, I'm out of torches. Maybe, like, yo-yo summoner. Can I be- Ah! What the shit? Can I be a yo-yo summoner? That sounds like fun. I think I found heck! Oh, we're getting very close. Very close to heck, because I'm about to hit the bottom of the map. This is going to go horribly wrong. Oh, that's fine, just a little love out. It's all good. A little love, I never hurt anyone. Oh dear! Dead! That did not go as far as I thought it did. Boop. Be free! Oh, hey, I found a depth meter. Hmm. A ways to go, they said. This is indeed heck. Is that a new background on heck? Oh no, there are demon torches. I bet you that's a cursed torch now. Oh, I need keys. A bathtub. A hell forge. That sounds nice. I don't have any shadow keys, no. Oh, hello, friend. I'm gonna beat the heck out of you. Oh. Guide voodoo doll already. Kitty. Hurts is precious. Mm. Balls, 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 balls. We're fine. It's fine. Stop it! I hate trying to get anywhere in heck because they are relentless. With their heckery. I'll fight the bee. I'm not here to fight a boss. I'm just here because I, I happened to get here. I'm a tourist. <laughs> I'm fine. I can mine any of that. It's all looking mighty close to the lava. Yeah, I, I just kind of, you know, I'm exploring. I'll go back soon. Like fire. 
hellfire. Hmm. Choose me the fire. That's not how lava works. Oh my god! Hello, bone serpent. Is that new? I don't remember a bone serpent. Ow. I got bone serpent. No, this is just standard. Like, classic. Because I have not finished the game before. Get out of here. Beep. I don't remember where I get keys from. Bush boy, thank you for donating to the Church of the Holy Seal. Thank you, thank you. They're in the dungeon? Oh, God. Okay. Maybe I'll return upward then. Maybe I'll get some... I'll get some... Hellstone and then I'll leave. This is risky. Trying to get a consistent amount of hellstone when lava hurts is is, is difficult. Jumpador, thank you so much for donating to the Church of the Holy Seal. How much hellstone do I need to make a pick? Oh no. Good. Um, the ball still appears to be spawned. That might not be good. Probably fine. He's coming, he's gonna slowly drag his way up here. I mean, why is that my fault? <laughs> oh no, the die trader took his house. <laughs> the guide is gone. Oh, he's hanging out. Look at him go. <laughs> How do I make Hellstone bars? I need obsidian? I thought I had obsidian. That's from turning lava into water, right? Oh, maybe it's in my pig. Yeah. 
-mm. Oh, I should make this first, probably. How much does it cost? Oh, it costs a lot. Well, actually, no, that's just obsidian. That's fine. And then I think I can combine that with the shield, right? Forge? That's mean. People die when they are killed. Have that painting. Bye. Uh, I do not Aeroblade, as far as I'm aware. I'm, I don't know what it is, so I'm assuming I don't have one. cape? That's dumb! No, I liked my cape. Oh. Oops. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Got my swag keep now. Uh, so get rid of that, get rid of that. <laughs> Organizing all this stuff is so demotivating. Bunny. I mean, some of my chests are organized. Some of them aren't. There's so many. Alright, I'm gonna finish up there though. I'm tired. I got work in the morning again. But tomorrow will be my last day of work, I think. Is it Thursday? Yeah. Which I'm very excited about. I get a four day weekend. I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I am done for today. I will be back again tomorrow, same time, same place, with more video games. And then we'll have a long stream at the weekend, I think. We'll probably do some humongous entertainment games. Because we're all children. <laughs> um, let me see what I can send you all over to. I will send you guys over to... Uh... We haven't gotten to rate him in a while. I'm gonna send you guys over to Lani Pator. Lani Pator is playing Grand Theft Auto V. Please go and say hi to him for me. He's very nice and a very entertaining streamer. 
Thank you so much for hanging out, everyone. I hope to see you all again soon. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.